What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best skillets. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Starting at number 5. We have the Lodge 10.25 inch cast iron pre-season skillet. Choosing a best overall skillet is easier than you might expect given the vastly different categories I laid out above. But really, if you only had to cook with this single one for the rest of your life, you'd be pretty okay. As a material, cast iron can pretty much do it all. Get really hot and retain that heat, go from the stove to oven, and hold a non-stick surface if seasoned properly. Lodge cookware comes pre-seasoned, which is a great bonus, but it might require some upkeep over the years. You can sear, saute, braise, fry, and bake with it. And while there are many companies that make cast iron cookware, Butterpat Industries and Smithy are two we've written about before. None is more beloved than the incredibly affordable, durable, and dependable Lodge. It's the most common cast iron you'll see regular home cooks using. Strategist senior writer Liza Corsillo said it was the very best thing she bought in the entirety of the last decade, and I use mine so often it has taken up permanent residence on my front left burner. But professional chefs are just as devoted. This pan will last you forever, says Daniel Cutler, co-owner and chef of Ronin in Los Angeles. It always comes in handy and never disappoints, adds New Orleans-based chef and restaurateur Alain Shea. For something so useful, the price is already seriously low, but Lonnie Halliday, founder and owner of Brutus Bake Shop, notes that you can often find them even cheaper at thrift shops, yard sales, and antique stores. All you have to do is clean them up, she says. Moving on at number 4, we have the Greenpan Valencia Pro Hard Anodized Healthy Ceramic Nonstick 10 Inches Frying Pan Skillet. While Teflon coatings should be avoided because of the toxic chemicals that can scratch off from them, there are a bunch of other materials and processes that can make a skillet nonstick. Both the Zwilling and the Cuisinart models are not coated with Teflon. But some folks are sticklers for ceramic coated pans, supposedly the safest and healthiest of all. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of ceramic because I find that the surface isn't quite as nonstick as others, especially over time. But many people swear by them, and Greenpan, which has different series of its ceramic nonstick pans with slightly varying properties, seems to be the favorite. Recipe developer and food writer Caroline Lang has been using hers daily for almost three years, she even recipe tested three different cookbooks on them, and they're showing very minimal wear, she says. They clean easily, if there's ever any oil cooked on, like if I fry an egg really hot, scrubbing with a bit of baking soda takes it right off. And I also like that they're really oven safe, up to 600 degrees. My oven doesn't even go to 600 degrees. To that point, cookbook author Valerie Lomas even told me she's even made a galette, which obviously goes in the oven, in her green pan. At number 3, we have the all-clad D33 ply stainless steel fry pan. In home kitchens, you're more likely to find stainless steel than copper skillets. And when it comes to stainless steel, all clad is the tried and true forever favorite. It's a brand that has surrounded me my whole life, in the classic Food Network cooking shows I used to watch, in my mom's cabinets from the time I was born, and in the test kitchen of Bon Appetit, where I used to work. Matt Rodbard, food writer, editor, and cookbook author, even says that the handle is so iconic, that if you flip through most cookbooks of the last 20 years, you'll spot it. Robert Gimond, the chef and owner of Public Display of Affection in Brooklyn, swears by his to steam ingredients or help them cook faster, and it comes with a matching lid for splatter control. It's durable and it's beautiful, he says. I often find myself daydreaming about sautéing some gnocchi or scallops with it right after I'm done washing it. At number 2, we have the Vermicular Frying Pan. Vermicular, a Japanese company that makes only a small handful of kitchen products, first became known for its precision cooker. Six months ago, it released this sleekly designed oven-safe skillet made from enameled cast iron, which I've been using for just about as long. 
Like the Le Creuset, above, it has a smooth and fairly non-stick surface with the durable nature of a hardy material. But there's one notable difference, it's truly lightweight. The pan is, in fact, even lighter than my Zwilling Madura by 2 ounces, though it has an ever so slightly smaller diameter. This means I can move it around from counter to stove and from stove to oven nimbly and easily with one hand. The handle is also longer and has a more comfortable, rounded shape than that of the Le Creuset. It's pricey but has the feel of something made to last. One note. Though the brand says it is dishwasher safe, I've only washed mine by hand so far. And finally at number 1, we have the Made in Carbon Steel Frying Pan. Woks are a very particular type of skillet, if you can call them that at all. Because their primary purpose is for stir-frying, they are built in a V-shape with extremely high sides to accommodate tossing lots of ingredients and have two handles to make maneuvering around a high flame easy. Still, they can be used for many of the same tasks as standard skillets, like braising, sautéing, and steaming, and even for things standard skillets can't be used for, like boiling stew or popping popcorn. In my roundup of the best ones, this made-in model was recommended by Lucas Sin, chef at Junzi Kitchen and Nice Day. It's almost like a hybrid of the more traditional woks on that list and the carbon steel pan above. It's quite compact with slightly lower sides. Though Sin says it, comfortably cooks for two, has only one handle, and features a bottom on the wider side, which Sin prefers, for as much surface contact as possible. Thanks for watching and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time.